Ad Hocracy News, April 17th, 2017. Today's top stories. 40 years of Star Wars. Okay, Google, what's with Burger King? Happy birthday, Canada. Hello, I'm David Landin. And I'm JD Melville. And welcome to Ad Hocracy News, where we cover last week's news of advertising, marketing, art, and design for you. If you haven't heard yet, uh, we will be doing the 100 for 100 contest. Uh, where you can win $100 for just simply drawing a picture or making some art. Yeah, just make some art. Um, actually, we'll have a video. Ding! Uh, that explains what our contest is. Uh, basically, you have the ability to win $100 and maybe even some other prizes that we haven't said. Um, just for creating art to go on our back wall here to celebrate our 100th episode coming up. Time is short. On to our top stories. So California has of course had their problems with drought. They have been working um, to figure out how to do things, but of course, nature comes through. Uh, and they have been experiencing what is known as a super bloom. Um, so much so that, uh, you know, there, there's these wildflowers that pop, that are popping up all over the place um, that don't, don't, don't show their face very often. And this has become so prolific uh, that you can actually see these flowers from space. There's an actual notable difference. And it's pretty incredible. I mean, you look at these pictures and I mean, some of these areas are just completely arid and just dry. And then you would, it's completely green. The after pictures you do not see as a desert. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're beautiful. Wildflowers are kind of beautiful in their own right. They're not like cut flower beautiful, but they are pretty incredible to see, especially at this size and at this caliber. We figure it's either the super bloom or it is... Everybody in California applied for the Cheerios seed <laughs> and went out to the same area and planted them. But I, I think I don't think this was Cheerios. I think this was nature. We saved the bees in we California. Did it. California saved the bees, thanks to Mother Nature. All right. Uh, next up, Canada has uh, changed their their currency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, ca Canada is celebrating their hundred and fiftieth year. Um, and to do so, they're commemorating a new banknote um, to show this, and it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. They have um, historical figures, they have landscapes, they have different buildings that they have. They even have like in Indian history and designs um, built into this thing. And not only is the um, the currency like pretty interesting in, in the way it's just I, I have an interest in the way that stuff is done oh it's amazing i mean the not detail only the, involved in it not only the detail but the security measures yeah so incredible um this this is really interesting because we're also going through a redesign for the 20 dollars bill where we're gonna put harriet tubman tubman and take up andrew jackson um it was actually going to be alexander hamilton Really? They were there was a they were looking at that and then Hamilton came out and no no he's <laughs> staying on forever now. Um, and and the thing that I love about this is how they showed several figures in their historical thing. They like, did. They had multiple people on. Put there. multiple people. But why do we have to have one? Yeah. Like, why why are we so yeah. stingy with how many people are on our banknotes? There can only be one. There can only be one. Um, their, their website is really interesting. You can go there and, and look at all of the wonderful videos that they made to kind of commemorate and show all of the wonderful places in Canada um, that, are on, that are featured on this note. And it, it, they're beautiful. The videos are beautiful. The way I love the way that they shot some of this stuff and like the face comes up and kind of turns. It's really like almost like it's 3D, but it's completely 2D. Um, as well as the images, like they show an image and then it breaks into video. So like they must have taken oh, yeah. these images from video. To, to make the design. Uh, yeah. Because it's so lined up, it's insane. Also, there's an Easter egg. There's a fun little Easter egg hidden inside. Yeah. You uh, if you, you uh, gamers out there, uh, you probably know what the, the Contra code is. So the Contra code was, uh, back in the days of Contra, um, the game was so difficult um, that you almost couldn't do it without doing the Contra code. And the Contra code basically gave you like 99 lives yeah. to play. Um, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. You don't have to push start, but you should go ahead and try that out on the um, website. Go ahead and head on over to Canada's um, bank note. We'll put that in the description below and uh, give that give that uh, code a try. You will not be disappointed. You might, but you will not be disappointed. So happy birthday, Canada. We love having you up there. Um, many. I, I don't know if we had anyone immigrate up to Canada from <laughs> our most recent uh, election. Very possible. Like people were... 
threatening. Yesterday was Easter here in the U.S. Is that a na- is that a national? Is that like worldwide? Anyway, it was Easter. <laughs> I just thought about that. Um, and as as all holidays here in the U.S. and maybe other parts in the world, uh, we celebrate by marketing. And uh, everything is now advertising. And Target actually had some cool Easter marketing. Uh, if you watched our our dad Father's Day episode from season one, uh, you'll know that I have a daughter with Down syndrome, so I pay attention to a lot of this stuff. And uh, I guess it was like a month ago, they released an, an ad uh, featuring a little girl with Down syndrome. Uh, this was a girl who is actually a model and actress. She had a video that go, went viral on Facebook um, where she was talking about how Down syndrome isn't scary. Like she just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that Down syndrome isn't scary. It's adorable, super cute. And Target uh, went out and she featured her in, in their ad. Cool thing about this ad is I missed it the first time. I missed that she had Down syndrome. Oh, really? They did not They did nothing to like make her disability look very prominent. They just made her look like every other child out there, which I love uh, that they focused on her ability instead of her disability. Uh, my wife had to point it out to me and say, no, like that's her. And I had Watch. to look at it again. I was like, really? And it, they did a few things. It might be that she was wearing glasses, which kind of hit one of the prominent features of Down syndrome that they have a certain shape color of eyes. But I mean, I, I just thought it was a great short little commercial that featured a girl with Down syndrome, but didn't, it's gotten a lot of good feedback because it, it, it is really doing, being inclusive and not focusing on the disability, but focusing on the child. Interesting. I thought it was really good. And they're actually, and, and, uh, so the, this girl, Sophia, her name is Sophia Sanchez. Uh, she's also appeared on on other TV shows and in other ads. So she's actually a, a model who's in LA. Oh, how cool! I don't know. Um, so this past week, you probably heard, or maybe you didn't, about um, the new Burger King ad. Ah, yeah. if you didn't, your Google Home may have. Uh, so it, this was a 15 second commercial that uh, that played, and your Google Home basically. You know, they, they, they go into to start the commercial and they say, we don't have any time to tell you about the wonderful things about the Whopper and what it is. So let's try this. Okay, Google, what is the Whopper? Yeah. And then if you have a Google Home, then... Or you, you could use your phone. Or your I mean, phone. Yeah, yeah, I use my phone. Um, but if, but I think they're kind of banking on people having Google Home in because your phone is on that. watching TV. Maybe, yeah. maybe if you're, you have a Google phone. But it'll go to Wikipedia and say, the... Google Whopper is, or not the Google Whopper, <laughs> the Whopper Burger is, and then list all the ingredients on there. And it was actually really interesting. It was a really was cool, cool way yeah. of, you know, kind of like extending, extending yourself commercial, outside of the TV and yeah, what it was. Integrating and... itself. But uh, as always, when you put something on, an, on the internet, the internet responds in great and glorious and terrible ways. And because um, Google basically will run off. I mean, it, it grabs definitions from like Wikipedia and things mm-hmm. like that. And so, um, being that Wikipedia is editable, um, even if it is for a sh- very short period, um, the internet decided to change what was in the Whopper, um, including things like medium-sized children, cyanide, toenail clippings. <laughs> and at one point, the Whopper was known as the worst hamburger product on Wikipedia. So therefore, Google would tell you that the Whopper Burger is the worst hamburger product. So uh, Google actually attempted to block the voice print so that the commercial wouldn't work. Um, but there were there was some way that they like masked the voice or they did something so that it still continued to work. And a very interesting way to, to use technology. And, and I think that, you know, someone somewhere had a genius idea that kind of... Oh yeah, you know, broke that barrier. Respect for uh, for Burger King, and even more respect for the internet for how they responded. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the internet response in kind. Uh, so th- over this past weekend, um, geeks basically ruled. Yeah, if you put your ear to the to the floor, you probably heard the, the stomping of some banthas. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe mm-hmm. maybe some sand. Some some, some Wookie some Wookie uh, yells out there. It was Star Wars celebrating their 40th anniversary. Yeah. So Star Wars has been around for 40 years now. Um, and they held the celebration. They did a celebration um, two years ago. I mean, this is, this, is, this is a Comic-Con basically for Star Wars. Yeah. 
they, Star Wars actually doesn't come to San Diego Comic Con or other ones like the official Star Wars because they have their own. And I, Disney's kind of somewhat the same. Yeah, and so they, I mean, they really make it big. And and being that this is Disney, um, the celebration was big. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. Um, you had things like, uh, of course, the thing that everyone's talking about and, and sharing right now is the trailer for the Last Jedi. Um, did I didn't it? like it. <laughs> they didn't show anything new. Like it showed all the same characters. All I mean, new ships, I guess. But like, I, I was hoping that they would show us. Like, I know, like on the panel, they had a new character. They did, yes. She didn't appear in the trailer. No, she did not. And we still only saw. Um, we we still saw Luke Skywalker in silhouette and in shadow. He said a couple more words this time. He did say a couple more. Well, in any fact, any any words would have been. <laughs> More than waste in last. Week, um, so. The basically the conference. I mean, it had it. They had live footage um, on YouTube and on their website where you could basically watch everything that was going down. They had live cameras and and little things throughout, but they also had um, panels mm-hmm. uh, that that were just fantastic. They had um, panels for the old movies. They had panels for the new movie. Um, they brought in also. I mean, they had. Well, and one thing that I that was interesting about those panels is the actors were extremely humble about yeah. like we just hope this is a great movie for you which i don't know if that was like if they're just like that amazing people or if this is kind of a marketing tactic that because they were somewhat doing the same thing with uh force awakens where mm-hmm. they would go around and they'd just be like oh no like we just love star wars we're just fans just like you guys yeah and so so you, i mean we, and you can go back and watch our we, we did an episode about disney does it right star wars <laughs> and it was anyway um, and season one, you can go back and watch but, that. But they really did. They, um, the director, the actors, even um, uh, Mark Hamill. Yeah. Like they were basically like, this is a big responsibility because of the fans. Like the fans mm-hmm. are so emotional into it, and like their things are, you know, dissected and and oh, cord, like absolutely. quartered, and I mean, people people go way into depth in some of the stuff, and so they feel this huge responsibility on their shoulders mm-hmm. and they're very excited about it. Um, the panels also had um, a, just a wonderful moving tribute um, to Carrie Fisher yeah that um, was awesome it was beautiful so and, good. and of course all of the panels also talked about Carrie Fisher and oh. people working with them and I just, I just maybe miss her oh, I know right I just wanted um, to like and here she is <laughs> <laughs> so it, I, I mean it was beautiful and hearing some of these things I mean I when I go to Comic Con, I'm not usually one for the panels just because of how long it takes to get in and stuff. Sometimes they're usually very interesting. Yeah, these were just stunning. I I wish that more panels would live stream. Yeah, you know, like have content that's live streamed out there. I think that I mean, really, I don't know why they don't because you're gonna get so much exposure. Mm-hmm. You have so more, so, so many more. You can't people. get paid for that though. Exposure. Oh. <laughs> You're getting paid for the exposure, not with exposure. <laughs> but but that was the interesting thing is that that you know I'm miles away and I was able to watch these beautiful They're moments so and s- like super cool things. I mean, I mean one of the things that I absolutely loved was the new director's. Um, he had a Leica camera on his shoulder the entire time of filming. Really. And so throughout filming, he snapped pictures. That's awesome. Um, he and and they showed some of those during these things so that like here's you know here's a picture of C3PO in you know bathed in light and, and and it was funny because as they were doing this panel it shows him hopping down and taking pictures of BB8 that came out and like he was he was doing it there and there are these beautiful photos that's awesome um, a couple other things that that came out there was a uh, new trailer for the Star Wars Battlefront 2 that looked awesome which is awesome i felt like that the trailer for Battlefront was stronger than the trailer for the movie. Battlefront is a fun, fun franchise game to play because um, it, it is a shooter game, but you're mm-hmm. playing in within the franchise and, and you're able to choose different yeah, characters. Exactly. You can even play as the heroes. And so it showed um, Darth Maul, Kylo Ren. I mean, you're going to be... It, it even showed the hand I of think, Yoda. I think, I think those would be the villains. Well, they're... they're, they're the heroes for either side. That's true. That's that was true. the other thing that was interesting about that um, that Battlefront trailer is that they were showing it very much from the Empire side. They were. She was like, "Yeah, we're gonna do this for the Empire." I, that's an interesting twist to see it from the other side and and not just in a like we're the bad guys, like you know. Um, all, as well, um, new the new Rebel season uh, seasons were shown, and then they also talked about um, some of these little um, clips of. Um, uh, these little TV clips that they'll be doing of different characters inside of this 
realm. So you'll see more from um, Princess Leia. You'll see more from um, Rey and, and some new characters as well. Awesome. Well, that's all the stories we have for today. Were there any stories that we missed? If you see a story that you think we should cover, uh, reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or put it in the comments below, and we will try and cover that next week. Yeah, if you like what you saw here today, uh, make sure to click the like button down, the, or the subscribe button down below. Um, both. Both work. Both of those things would be very yeah, nice. Yeah. Why not both? Just um, go for that. that. That'll tell you that we have new epi- uh, when we have new episodes, uh, Monday is news, Wednesday is our show, and Friday is Fedora Fun. Um, and of course, make sure, or thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to our videos. It makes us super happy. We enjoy it. And now we're going to show you a video that we weren't able to cover because we didn't have time, but we wanted to make sure that you saw it anyway.